Ooh, look how pretty that is. Look how it just seamlessly blends in with the blush. Y'all see that? Chasing stars and I landed here. My soul hasn't been free yet. I didn't miss too much. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. All I did was I took my favorite moisturizer. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration uh, face cream with the SPF 30 in there. It has hyaluronic acid and it has peptides in it. This is one of the only moisturizers I can use. And the Holy Hydration, the whole line, I have the entire line. I have the serum, I have the um, gel exfoliator, and this, I just need the mist, that's all I need, and it's, for whatever reason, it's always sold out. Well, obviously, because it's that girl. But I love e.l.f. After, and I just moisturized up under my eyes, that's why my eyes look dewy. So now, I'm just gonna go in with my foundation. It's an oil-free, satin, uh, medium coverage foundation, and this is lighter than my skin tone. I'm going to highlight with this. Uh, and this is in the shade 250 Bluff. I'm gonna put some of it on my hand and um, so I'm just gonna take my ring finger I'm gonna put little dots on my under eye on both sides of my eye I really like this foundation because of how smooth it is it's very lightweight but it's also very like coverage so I highly recommend this and it's just a really pretty yellow color it really complements my skin really well I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in with my finger I've been liking using my finger doing my makeup over like makeup brushes lately. I don't know why. The only person that I know who uses their finger, fingers and who has done so consistently for like the past couple of years is Sandra Deluxe. I don't know if she even makes makeup. I haven't seen her in a long time. Um, I really like Sandra. I really like Sandra's brows too. She's the queen of like, I feel like she's the one who really I wouldn't, so who invented straight brows? I would say, um, what's her name? I was just doing research on her. Josephine Baker, one of the first African-American entertainers, female entertainers. So anyways, but no, Sandra Deluxe definitely is known for her brows. See how light that is? It's light in color, but it's also light in weight. It's not super thick at all. It blends seamlessly. I got a piece of hair right here. So that's pretty. I feel like this has way more on this side, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more in the outer corner of the eye. And then I'm gonna highlight my chin. And this smells good. It smells like old school, but it smells good. It's, it has like a powdery smell, but it's not overwhelming. It's like, you have to really sniff it to even smell it, but it's very faint. So, and even though I have a big forehead, I really wanna highlight my forehead today. I gotta stop saying that. I have a very normal everything. My body is normal, my forehead is normal, my face is normal, everything is proportioned the way that God intended it to be. But when I do see people with little foreheads, I'm like, ooh, you lucky dog, like. <laughs> um, should I set that really quick? Yeah, I'm almost done too. Like I said, this is just gonna be a very basic, everyday, just makeup tutorial. I finally got on the trend of getting these cute little triangle puffs. So let's set our under eye. You actually wanna set your Concealer with something that's actually closer to your skin tone Right and this is just a powdered foundation. I really need to get like a Setting powder so I'm patting my my triangle and then I'm patting the rest on my hand and then I'm just gonna set it Then we can go in with our Laura Mercier um, translucent honey. 
if I had white, I would definitely do white right now, but I ran out of my white um, setting powder. I've been liking a super bright under eye, just digging it. So anyways, bake. Oh, and I'm just gonna take the rest of what is on this little triangle and set, set my forehead. Now I'm gonna contour. Oh, I forgot to put on my cream blush. That's how you know you're moving too fast. I got this really cute cream blush. There it is. I forgot to put it on. Let's just see if I can, let me warm up my face right here. And then I usually just take that same finger, put it right in the cream, right around. I get a decent amount of the cream on my hand. And then I'm just gonna pop it right on the top of my cheek. And it's like a highlight, but also a blush. And it's so pretty. This would probably make a really pretty lip gloss too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in. Hopefully it doesn't mess with the powder too much. And I like to blend it up towards the brow. And you can see how pretty that that is. Look how pretty that is. Such a nice transition too. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. It didn't really mess up the powder. I forgot to heat up this side. Let me warm up this real quick. Warm it up and then the natural oils that are in my finger also help blend that powder in that foundation so I'm gonna go in with a nice amount of blush and I'm just gonna pat 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 it up kind of right into the brow bone and then back and I keep it about right there I should try this as a lip gloss today. It's so creamy. It has no scent. And this is by Sephora. No, this is by Ulta. I gotta chill out on mixing up names. Cause if I get ever, if I ever get some brand deals, they're gonna be like, no, this is by us, not our competitors, competitors, competition, baby, competition competitors <laughs> okay so now that the blush is on I'm gonna go in with another elf product um, and this is just an elf uh, well wow. okay this is an elf blush and I'm looking at the back and it says that it's a primer infused blush and it's always cheeky Oh, how cute! How did I never notice that? My nickname is Cheeky. I have um, one of my best friends, her daughter can't say my name, and I guess I look like one of her favorite cartoons. And it's like a Latina cartoon, like a Latin cartoon, and the cartoon's name is Cheeky. How cute is that? I just noticed that. Always Cheeky. I'll always be Cheeky. So anyways, I'm gonna go in. And this is a really pretty, just peachy blush color. And I am gonna take a blush brush that I already used. And this is the Real Techniques in the number 400. And I'm going, I learned a new technique of how to apply blush. So, ooh, should I um, contour first? Yeah, let me go ahead and contour first because I'm getting ahead of myself again. This is coming out really pretty though. It's nice and light every day. I'm gonna take this um, stick, the Wonder Stick by NYX. And I'm going to, you guys can see the natural, where my face naturally has the natural contour. I'm gonna come right on top of that. So about right there, just like that. And you can see it on this side too. Just right there. Just like that. It's not even. This side has more. That's cool. I'm not gonna be a stickler about it. I 
I've had this stick for forever and I'll get another one because as you can see the contour is not ashy at all it's not like chalky I'm also just gonna I'm gonna take the darker shade and I'm gonna instead of drawing on my nose I'm just gonna put it on the brush so I'm going to I don't know how I would get this on camera I'm gonna <laughs> just do this and put a line in the middle so I'm gonna I'll do it like this right here not me smoking okay chill out I got my one line right here and then I put that gap I'm having a blast and another line right here and then now you got the two lines right there and then I'm going to take my highlighter side that I'm almost out of try to keep the brush flat and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight in the middle two lines now check this out y'all so now you can see my brush looks good there's a little more dark on that side so I'm gonna put a little bit more dark on this side I hope that this comes out good today it came out good the first time I tried it so I'm just gonna place the brush in the middle of my face so right here place it nice and flat and draw a straight line down And it worked. It worked okay. It worked well enough to give me a uh, placement of where I'm at. Look how straight that is. Oh, that's so satisfying to me. My uh, north node is in Virgo, so every time something is like perfect, I just like, uh, I cream just a little cream. Okay. looks really good now it does look a little off-centered so I'm just gonna like wipe down the middle and go back in This video is getting to be long, but it's okay. I wanted it to be a long form content. I'm gonna probably edit the hell out of it to make it shorter. So I can get my watch time up. And I like to use a smaller mirror a lot of the time so I can see. And I'm gonna take it at the angle that it is and I'm gonna just not even pull up, but I'm just gonna pat upwards. Now it's only a little bit darker right there because I have this weird bruise right there. I just kind of woke up with it the other day. Like that darkness that you see, that's a bruise. So I'm not worried about it. My hair is going to cover it. So anyways, same thing, other side. Oh, I'm so hungry. I feel like I talk a lot and a lot fast, faster when I'm hungry <laughs> and I'm stumbling over my words. It's okay. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Look how it just seamlessly blends in with the blush. Y'all see that? Oh, I love that cream blush. You gotta, you gotta get your hands on that blush. That blush gonna make you blush. Real blush. It's a really pretty blush. It's so subtle, but it seems like maybe, I don't know, it's just subtle enough 
to where I notice it. I can tell the difference between my under eye, the blush, and then the contour. It's just a nice gradient, dewy, moisturized. Thank goodness I remembered to double moisturize today. And I'm just gonna do my forehead. I should have added more moisture to my forehead, but it should blend fine. We're patting, patting back into the hairline. What time is it? It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm doing good on time. I love how I woke up this morning. This morning I woke up at like 4.44 in the morning. I wouldn't say I was exactly full of energy, but I wasn't tired anymore. I was just like, okay, let me do my yoga. Sometimes when things happen, I'm like, yo, if today's the day, Lord, let it be. I'm cool. Everything's going to be all right. I know me. I, I, I know I got my spirit intact. I'm not tripping. But it's moments like that. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Wasn't no train. The train is right here and it's still sitting right in front of me. That was an airplane. Whew. That was a trip. <laughs> Anyways what we're doing that was a trip that was an airplane for sure must have been an airplane i don't know sometimes when the train even though the train's been stopped here for a few minutes miles and miles and miles away if it just stopped or just like came to like a halt or something i can hear it but i'm looking at the train and it's right here it's just not moving so that wasn't the train in a plane. Now, why does that look so orange under there? Because I didn't blend down my because I didn't blend down my foundation. <laughs> Sound like I was crying because I was hitting my tongue under here. Yeah, my soul is intact. I would love to live a long, healthy, happy life. But if I don't, I'll be all right. I think about that shit all the time. Damn. Some people don't really make it to see 30. Some people don't make it to see 40, 50, 60, 70. Like, I'm just gonna be grateful for the time that I have right now. I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and blend that out. Pretty. It's coming together. And before I blend out my nose, I just feel like I should really set my blush with my powder cheeky. My cheeky powder. So I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. And then instead of patting down, I usually pat down, I'm gonna pat with the brush up. That's gonna make sure that the blush actually gets deep into the brush because lately, and then I'm gonna pat down because lately I've been liking a really heavier blush. Not heavier that looks like a clown, but nice and just like, ah, she's wearing blush. Like, just pretty. And then I naturally, I almost forgot to show you. I like to pat my hand just to get a little more excess off. And then I'm just going to smile and I'm going to Towards my temple. Just like that. See how pretty that that is? This side it doesn't have as much, so I'm just gonna go in with more blush. Pat up, pat down, and pat my hand. And smile. That's a pretty amount of blush. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it when you eat it. Okay. Calm down. Okay. 
now because that's when we're gonna go in with this. All right, well, my phone died. Even though it was plugged in, I guess that charger doesn't work anymore. And so now I'll just, you know, I blended out the other side already thinking I was recording and I wasn't. That's okay, I'm not gonna let that get me down. I'm just gonna blend it out again just for the sake of the video. I had taken some more translucent powder and I sculpted like this and I did same on that side. That's why I look snatched. It's been sitting for a very long time. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and blend out that powder. Still giving snatch, but it's not giving as harsh. It's been weird, um, weird noises outside, like airplanes, pl air airplanes flying really, really, really close to my apartment. I'm talking like the whole building is fucking like, what? My neighbor is stepped outside too, like, did you hear that? I'm like, yeah, I heard that it happened twice. Then I step outside and I see just a helicopter sitting just right there, just right in the air, just sitting there. I don't know, maybe they're looking for somebody. It's scary though. But anyways, so now that that's done, I'm literally almost done with this makeup tutorial. I'm gonna take my Can't Stop, Won't Stop um, by NYX, and this is a mattifying powder. I already did a little bit of this side, and I was saying that this Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying powder is in the color bright peach and it's really nice because it is really really mattifying but it's not like cakey and also it's a pretty peach color so it won't interrupt our pretty blush. So I'm gonna pat pat pat, put a little in my hand and then you guys can see um, I put some right here but you guys can see this looks just oily a little bit. I'm gonna put the powder right here. Just right there. Now it's not as oily. See how that mattified it? Um, I'm gonna put a little bit on the inner corner of my eye just to get rid of that crease shine right there. This is the end of this makeup tutorial. This every day, get ready with me. Just a daily, simple, makeup routine if you enjoyed it go ahead and like comment and subscribe um and i'll see you guys in the next video and if you play that back you will understand what i'm really trying to say play a tug ties on your mental is my way and if you down then let's play if you down then let's play